All right, just going to do a video refuting this heresy by accountable KJV, or as I call him, Brad the Blasphemer. Uh, he's not accountable to the KJV whatsoever, uh, but this will be refuting his heresy that the flesh of Jesus Christ is sinful. Essentially, you know, he denies it, but by extension, he's calling Jesus Christ a sinner. Because if you're saying he had sinful flesh, which I've established in other videos, you're saying he's a sinner. Now, you can deny that, just like how the Catholics will deny that, oh, we don't worship Mary as we bow down to statues of her, burn incense to her, kiss to her, you know, kiss statues of her, pray to her etc you know you're just in self-denial but here's one clip uh because there's two clips where he mentions this uh talks about the flesh of jesus christ being sinful and actually mocks and makes fun of those and puts down those and you know uh basically essentially makes you know makes a joke out of those who would criticize him and call it blasphemous so here's the first clip where he says this heresy watch this yeah remember that let me give you your little thing here so you can go do your live streams and do your stupid little videos Okay, here, let me give you something. The flesh profiteth nothing. All flesh is sinful. Here you go. The flesh of Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, the flesh, the skin suit was sinful. Oh, oh, blasphemy, right? Yeah, an unutterable blasphemy. Sh shut up. Go away. There you go. Make your live stream. Do your little thing. Yeah, I mean, the guy is just puffed up. Pride is ridiculous. But the, uh, here is a second clip where he again peddles this heresy of the flesh of Jesus Christ being sinful and also obviously mocking those who would call him out and call it blasphemous, which is exactly what it is. So watch this. Why else, why, why else would you get so adamant and unutterable blasphemy? Calling this flesh the skin suit. And, okay, now, all, all flesh is sinful. Even the flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the Word made flesh. Yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Now, let's get into the scriptures refuting this heresy, because this is just so easily debunked. Um, but the problem is that he plays these, these these sort of almost Jesuitical type mind games. Am I saying it's a Jesuit? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm, I don't just go around accusing everybody of being Jesuits like a lot of his little cronies do. Uh, but it's it's... Uh, Jesuit type mind games I'll put it that way but here's some scriptures actually thoroughly refuting this heresy that the flesh of Jesus Christ is sinful first of all if Jesus Christ had sinful flesh while he was on the earth then his blood would not be perfect and without spot okay first Peter chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 it says that his blood was without spot and blemish first Peter chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 for as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot this could not be said if you had a body of sinful flesh why well because one of the reasons why the animal sacrifices could not uh, Hebrews 10 talks about this and Hebrews 9 talks about it as well. One of the reasons why the animal sacrifices could not fully wash away your sins because it was because the animals were still corrupt themselves and their blood was still corrupt. So if Jesus Christ had a body, had sinful flesh, his blood would not be the uh, without spot, you know, perfect blood to atone for all your sins. It's that simple. Uh, like I said, if Christ's body is sinful, it also means his blood was sinful and was not perfect. And if his blood was sinful, it could not redeem us. It would just be no different than the animal sacrifices. Next point is that if Jesus Christ had sinful flesh, then he would not be able to enter heaven to present the blood to the Father as the atonement, it, as part of the atonement, basically, as described in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12 and Hebrews chapter 9, verse 24. Because if you don't know, when the, the sacrifice happened, Jesus Christ went into heaven to the holiest of holies, you know, talks about, and presented the blood to the Father as the perfect sacrifice. However, if he had sinful flesh, he could not do this. Why? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. See, the reason why you cannot enter heaven now is because you have a corrupt body of flesh. See, when you die, your, your uh, soul and spirit go to heaven, but your body of corrupt flesh stays in the ground. It's not until you get the redeemed body at the rapture that your body is allowed in heaven. But if Jesus Christ had sinful flesh, he could not, he could not be in heaven to present this sacrifice. Also, further proof of this is that the fact that John chapter 3 verse 13 shows that Christ was in heaven while on earth, thus refuting this heresy he had sinful flesh, because he was both in heaven and earth and on earth at the same time, which could not be possible if he had sinful flesh, because again, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 13, and no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the son of man, which is in 
heaven. But this is not possible if you have a corrupt body of flesh, because again, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Next point is that Jesus Christ came in the likeness of sinful flesh. And I'll, I'll get into what that means uh, in a bit. Romans chapter 8, verse 3. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak to the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Okay, likeness, being in the likeness of sinful flesh does not mean you have sinful flesh. Why? Well, because mankind is made in the image and likeness of God, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. But that doesn't make us gods as well. That doesn't, doesn't make us many gods. Okay, uh, it's same with the fact that Jesus Christ be made in the likeness of sinful flesh does not mean he has sinful flesh. Because if we're going to be consistent with this logic, then us being made in the likeness and image of God makes us, I guess, demigods or something. That's not how it works. Being in the likeness of something does not make you that thing. You know, it's that simple. But accountable KGB won't show that to defend his blasphemous, in order, so he can basically defend his blasphemous heresy that the flesh of Jesus Christ is sinful. And there's there's so many more scriptures I can cover on the matter, but this will suffice. So don't be deceived by this heresy by accountable KGB, or as I call him, Brad the Blasphemer. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.